Hello, welcome back to a new episode from Hearts of Iron 4 playing with Germany uh, with Sunflower Patch and everything. So let's go on with the game. Last time I was trying, as I said, to gain the upper hand here in the English Channel and trying to destroy as many co as many British commerce as possible. This is one thing. And actually, I'm doing great. I mean, if you're gonna look at uh, the airplanes, I really have a lot of interceptors and a lot of naval bombers, and I, they are also being reinforced. Although mission eff efficiency for the interception is 1%, for air spirit is almost 1%, and for naval bombers unfortunately only 56.1%. But it's still doing great, and unfortunately not able to destroy some of their battleships. But if I'm gonna send also my um, huge navy here, navy fleet here, that should be Kriegsmarine, which has already some um, light cruiser, heavy cruisers, Battleship 4, Gross Deutschland, Hindenburg class, and some two super heavy battleships such as Bismarck, two aircraft carriers, and more to come, such as the one that are here. So I can already go on. Yeah, this is the one I have here, um, such as Europa class carrier 4, Battleship class A, Hindenburg, and some battle cruisers, and so on. Then, if this this fleet will also arrive, I think it's gonna make the difference here in the English Channel. Once I can have the um, opportunity to control the English Channel, then I could possibly launch an invasion here in Dover, in southern England, maybe. <coughs> or right here near London and capture London, maybe, hopefully. If not, then I'm gonna have to somehow try to gain the upper hand in uh, controlling air superiority in England, in southern England at least, in order to facilitate my invasion. This one I'm gonna perhaps do. So let's see how many, let's see how many, first of all, Active enemy fighters, 6,000, oh my god. And enemy anti-air guns, 29. Oh, this is... They, however, didn't destroy any of my troops. Here, I managed to um, bombard one enemy ship, but I've lost some bombers and fighters as well. Yeah, as you can see here, there is a huge number of enemy fighters active here as well. But here almost nothing in Northern England, which means I could eventually attack Northern England and try to capture it, try to invade it right here in Rosset. Because they have some anti-aircraft, that's true, but they have almost no, uh, no, um, no um, aircraft here defending. And I could, for example, take Edinburgh and Glasgow. I could try this, but in Southern England, it it's going to be impossible. I mean, look at this. 6,000. This is absolutely unbelievable. I wonder where do they have so much money. Anyway, so uh, here we go. This is um, this seems to be like um, an invasion here with like 16 divisions. Although it seems they will not do anything because I'm having the air superiority here for supremacy. <coughs> How they are still attacking though. This is an SS division here that is will be absolutely invincible. But they are still trying to invade there. They will have absolutely no chance at all. Anyway, yeah, this is this is one one battle plan here, and the next one would be right here in. That's where they have Italian fleet is active. Good. It was about time actually. Anyway, um, yeah, another another battle front or front line is right here in. Um, India, where it seems that my allied troops are trying to advance. Well, not really, but they are struggling. And then I have another army here that I was sending towards uh, this front line in order to um, defend there uh, in an eventuality of an uh, allied breakthrough here, this front, where the Japanese actually are taking a lot of attrition and are not doing anything good. In the meantime, the allied forces are taking absolutely no attrition and they could actually launch a huge invasion here. That's why I want to secure this front line with my troops. And actually, I am doing so right now. Unfortunately, my troops have taken an extraordinary attrition and they are still taking extraordinary attrition here, as you can see. Attrition is 21%. That means I should move the front line a little bit more, like here, in China. 
Or I just have the feeling that wherever I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna still take attrition. No, actually here I'm not taking any attrition at all. And that is somehow good, but if I'm gonna go south, you will notice that I'm gonna take attrition. No, actually here also not. No, actually it's good. Although it's gonna be very difficult for me to capture them beyond those ones. Here, for example, there is some attrition. Actually a big amount of attrition, unfortunately. If I'm gonna let them stay in the mountains. <coughs> so hopefully my troops will be able to um, advance here even farther. Uh, judging by the fact that a lot of troops are, are, are on low supplies over they do have a lot of divisions though. But you never know, maybe they will do it, almost. No, I don't think so. It's down as well. Here are some fresh American troops here. It seems to take absolutely no attrition at all. Change something at audio and the most important. But this is good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they have invaded here. Uh, hopefully, that uh, my my allies will be able to encircle them and deal with them. I'm already having an army here that I could send right away. This board was not defended, that's why it has been invaded by, let's see, France. Where are they living? Unsigned pilot troopers here. I'm just gonna let them. British infantry has air superiority somehow. This is very strange. I'm not sure how it has air superiority right here. Whatever. Perhaps I could send some. Airplanes right here, let's actually send them. Um, I'm not sure who to send. I have some air support. And. Or some interceptors. I don't have any interceptors, maybe. Tactical bomber, heavy fighters or something. <coughs> no, only rocket interceptors. Whatever, let's send this rocket interceptors here. Oh yes, just I thought they have invaded here because my my allies are so fucking retarded. Not able to do anything. Now they have rival lot of divisions here. And they have no chance of defeating them. I'm just gonna wait for them to arrive with more divisions and then I'm gonna be able to attack them perhaps. But what is the zero? Oh 
and they have air superiority. How the fuck is this possible to have air superiority here? Yeah, now the Italians are arriving, and this is very good, and Spaniards as well. But it seems that they have absolutely no chance of attacking them. <coughs> we'll counterattack them. They have no airport here. How the fuck do they have air superiority here? I really don't get it. All the Italians will take care of this. Probably not be a problem here. Let's see, they are attacking with a lot of troops, but since they have absolutely no chance at all. They have no chance at all of invading right there. They would like to, but it simply doesn't work. Yeah, the Italians did a good job by surrounding them right there. That's really good. This British troops seems to be absolutely invincible. They are being attacked by a tank troop, but. Somehow air superiority here. Unbelievable. Now I should have air superiority, I guess. No, they still have air superiority. They want naval bombers and fighters, as well as heavy fighters. They are comp um, absolutely invincible here, and they have brought so many divisions now, it's gonna be almost impossible to deal with them. This is very bad, the Italians are completely unable to deal with the situation here. Surrounded, and this is okay now. They're trying to break, but it's impossible. That's good. Another well, battle Italian fleet against an American battleship. This battleship should be completely destroyed, I'm sure about that. Because they have no naval bombers, unfortunately. Oh no, what the fuck are they doing here? I hope that they are not leaving here. That's okay. Maybe not because I'm still taking a lot of attrition here and this is what I really don't like at all. <coughs> the Japanese are losing too many troops and so am I here. I, just, I don't like this at all. 25% attrition. Man, what a fucking stupid territory that is. I think they're gonna just have to leave here or something like that. And if they will invade or just retreat like, like in here. I, I'm gonna do the following because I'm just bored of this fucking bullshit here with this stupid attrition shit. I'm just gonna let them garrison areas such as this one. Coastal areas or like Because garrison 
placing in coastal areas will be extremely important. Yeah, this is gonna be okay. And they will have they'll take no attrition at all. So let's go, let's do it. Because I don't see any other way. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Nothing. And let's get back to France, see if the allies Oh, they have been completely exterminated. They have been completely exterminated, but La Rochelle is still free and another invasion will take place there, I'm sure about that. That's why let's do the following. Let's take this unit of Marines. No, actually, let's take this armor divisions and let's send them right there in La Rochelle. trying to move them. Yeah, the F Spaniards finally are trying to defend their ports a little bit, especially Bordeaux and so on. It was about time actually. <clears throat> but in the meantime, my troops will arrive there and will secure their garrison the area. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I'm f yeah, I do have a lot of naval bombers. Naval strike efficiency is increased. This is good. This is very good. For the time being, for the time being, hopefully my manpower will increase a little bit more after that. Let's see. I think that a huge invasion will take place here. Japanese don't seem able to, no, they are uh, well supplied now, but not all of them. So let's see what these guys are doing here. Yeah, they're just going to the poor post. And there are the guys here. It makes no sense they will arrive, it's true. <coughs> it's good no other invasion is taking place now. I could do the following here, give these guys this 350 naval bombers from Normandy, let's ask them for example to bomb ports, uh, bomb enemy fleets in ports, yeah, let's let them do that although person gonna lose a lot of them but I don't care let them we can just do that <coughs> mission efficiency 70% such as Plymouth Dover and so on So that means that now they can invade if they want. Once Division Type 1 is right here, it has some mechanized heavy tank, light tank, a bit of medium tank and modern tank as well. That's good. Hopefully that manpower will increase a little bit at least. Sweden is also having a fleet, but unfortunately they're not sending it out of uh, patrolling. I also have the chance, a chance of invading Greece, for example, with paratroopers, if I'm gonna make some more. But I'm gonna need even more manpower, manpower is already going down. Anyway, I'm just gonna build more paratroopers. First of all, let's deploy some uh, transport plane, transport waiting for orders, let's deploy some more. 
transport, the first transport plane, yeah, all of them. No, actually, wait a minute. Just a few more. And as well as somewhere, let's say, in Greece. Need a lot of transport plane there. <coughs> this which is actually Italian territory, that's right, and Bulgarians are also having a lot of troops, Romania as well, they are also having a fleet here with a lot of destroyers, they should use it actually. I guess, now let's see, I think that the Italians should take care of this territory, that's what the Japanese are doing, oh they have invaded Philippines, but it still seems to be very difficult, now they are completely blocked here. That we're try, trying to recapture this territory, although it's very difficult though. <coughs> they should invade a little bit more American ship here. <coughs> if I'm gonna have a surplus of naval bombers, but I'm not having now, then I'm gonna send them right here to um, bombard this, this area. So let's see, the Japanese are also establishing a frontier here with Siam and they somehow, when I think, I just have the opinion, they have advanced a little bit here. Very strange, I'm not sure how they did that actually. Oh, and here as well, look, they, they have they have surrounded this um, allied forces here, very strange, that means they could take them out. Oh my god, I, I managed to capture Ahmanabad. And 8 divisions plus 11 divisions are completely overwhelmed and surrounded, plus another 10. This is extraordinary. That is an extraordinary achievement. That's perfect. Now let's see, as I said, this division should go on, advance here. Yeah, that's right. So they have just lost like 20 or 30 divisions here, which is absolutely extraordinary. So... Now they are securing the defense of Akmenabad and hopefully they will be able to um, attack even further. Although it seems that the allied troops are not taking any attrition at all. <coughs> Let's see. And also hopefully that is that I was capturing the new airport but unfortunately not the next airport to capture. Where is it? I see no airport to capture. Whatever, it's still okay. They are taking no attrition here, it's gonna be difficult. Or anyway, Ahmedabad is gonna be a very important port. As you can see, they are captured. And hopefully I'm gonna keep it. So there are... 78 divisions. Army 2, 18 divisions, Army 2. Yeah, there are these guys here. Army 6, Army 2. Yeah, that's right. Um, that... Oh, wait a minute, I think there must be a mistake. Yeah, just I fucking thought there is a mistake here. Just what I did, it was a huge mistake. Now everything is completely wrong. What the fucking bullshit. This was something I did not want to do. Then let's do the following then. Let's do the following. Let's take these divisions here and let's unassign them. Unassigned hit to unassigned selected from... Uh, yeah, okay, how am I doing this? How am I gonna do this? <coughs> yeah, there you go. It's 30 of them. I don't want that. 30 is too much. I'm gonna say there is everything chaotic here and it's not what I wanted to happen, actually. Um, so maybe I can select two of them. No, I can't. Um... Yeah, there some divisions here. No, did not. Oh shit, how the fuck am I 
Dennis. Easy way, I'm not sure how I can do this the easy way here. Yes, I know, let's do this. Let's take this and let's assign it directly there. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Fourteen, that's right, and then the next fifteen. Oh, but they have no alright, I understand then. There are these guys here. 28, 20, that's good, much better. Now if I'm gonna take these guys here, wait a minute, where is the guy in front here? There is no front here. Oh, what a fucking idiocy, man. God, this is fucking incredible. I just have the feeling that this game sometimes is extremely stupid. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, go ahead. Right, and then I'm gonna have this guy here with 22 divisions. I'm gonna assign a new one or assign it again. Powder, that's right, that's the man. Um. Army 2, this is Army 6, yeah, that was the mistake. A divisions or two, whatever. Uh, let's establish a front for this guy here, starting here like that. And then Yeah, and if you guys want to attack, then attack wherever you are, well, whenever you're ready. So let's see, this guy here is having less divisions, but let's assign all of them right there. 24, and this is what happens when, you, when you're gonna have no divisions. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 22 divisions, yeah, this is what I want actually. The allies could break here at any time with their incredible force. Oh, this is not going to happen. <coughs> I seem taking a huge attrition. I also think it's because these guys here are somehow taking attrition. Hopefully they are not. Oh, they have managed to recapture this American territory. That's good. As I said, Hopefully they are not taking any attrition, but who knows, let's check again. A lot of troops are arriving. No, they are not taking any attrition right now. Should be able to guard this territory here. <coughs> right. Then there is this guy which is right here, that's good. And then there was, was also... Not Rommel, but... Victorian and Rommel is right there, alright. So, yeah, there is, again, this, this, there are these two generals here. They're not yet advancing, but hopefully they will advance soon. Trying to fight there, but doesn't bring anything. Anyway, the advancement here was really good, and now my troops should try to recover. Can wait until they will recover. <coughs> now let's deploy some airplanes. These guys are standing by and they are in Normandy. Let's deploy them as well and let's ask them for some mission. Close air support. Let's try it in here as well. Then who else? Right here in Brittany, fighter standing by. Right. And then this guy is in northwest Germany. Those air support standing by as well. Should actually attack. <coughs> I 
<clears throat> Gotta send them as well. There's priority as well. There's some tactical bomber. Should also do a great job. Some rockets. Rocket Type 3, that's good. Another rocket standing by. <coughs> you have another one. A lot of rocket groups here. That was it. Now let's see what's the situation with planes. So naval bomber is going better, fighter also a little bit, tactical bomber, heavy fighter is bad, and I'm getting more guided missiles. On the other hand, I have a lot of light tanks, and actually I think I'm producing too much, and I have a shortage of infantry equipment still, unfortunately. Then I have a lot of tall artillery that I think I have in, I'm producing simply too much, so um, I should upgrade artillery to more such divisions. Just for example here. And to the marines. Support artillery. Signal company is going to be more interesting, and logistics company also, and some artillery right here. As well as here, yeah, that's right. Then I should have some infantry division, let's see, I already have a lot of artillery, I have anti-air and anti-tank. What else could I add? Some rocket artillery, perhaps, although this is gonna cost me, but I'm gonna do it because it's gonna prove to be very important. Also, now this is gonna reduce my manpower, but as I said, I still gonna do it. So let's see, tower artillery is going down, uh, tower rocket artillery is good, anti tank, whatever. Um, infantry equipment is also going down, and motorized and support equipment as well, but I, I, do, I still have a lot. This is upgrade medium tank, perhaps even more medium tanks and more light tanks. More light tanks, for example, I think this is gonna be much better. Light tank and light tank and mechanized. Yeah, there you go. And then here, medium panzer division. Armored medium tank, yeah, because it's medium panzer division. And here at heavy Panzer Division, also let's have some heavy and some modern tank divisions, that's right. This will be a huge upgrade I'm gonna need, but it's going to be very important. Right, huge upgrade, and this is gonna cost me a lot of manpower, that's for sure. Because I have a lot of divisions to upgrade. <coughs> Except upgrade, I should also think of creating some new divisions. Let's see if I can upgrade this cavalry division. 4,000 men. No, not yet. I don't really need a lot of manpower, but my manpower is going down at the time being. Oh, further advancement here. The Chinese have advanced a little bit here, but they are under attack again by the British forces. However, they are also trying to attack even further, because most of the British forces have left now that they have lost so many divisions out there. And my troop here, I think they are now being stationed right there. First of all, let's try to capture this territory. <coughs> so let's see them again, let's check them again. They also seem to take some attrition right here. Now these are the Japanese because they are moving, but there are other troops they have don't take any attrition as far as I know. Perhaps some troops here, but it will be necessary that they will remain there. There are 24 Chinese divisions. This is really incredible. 
Uh, but these troops here are taking no attrition and otherwise in Normandy they are also might take can attrition. Let's see what the factories are doing. Many many factories are being built including refineries which is perfect. They still have to build a lot of civilian factories and uh, military factories or to repair them. And I'm gonna build a lot of oil refinery which is perfect. And I'm gonna have to repair some more factories which are being sabotaged and then I'm gonna build this Ladders, radars, and some other factories that have also been sabotaged. You can also have to repair them. what Philippines is doing. There is still an American fleet fighting there. Yeah, Philippines is doing great and I think the Japanese are not able to invade them here in Dampao. That is too bad. Perhaps more invasion in Pacific. Yes, for example here at this port, but it's still very difficult. Japanese are also having a lot, uh, an incredible fleet. 14 aircraft carriers this would be extraordinary it's what my fleet is doing so i'm having now 11 fleet here which is good let's see what i'm producing right now yeah i could produce even more also to create smart email i think it would be good two light cruisers per year one carrier in nine months one battleship in 1.44 44 years, one battle crystal, whatever. Um, also producing strategic bombers and carrier fighters. Okay, so let's produce some more battleships for Kriegs Marine and let's see what. A super heavy battleship, I think, is gonna be alright. Let's produce, let's say, two. And what else? <coughs> A carrier is also being produced. Some submarines more, perhaps. Type 21. In German rifle flotilla one, the others have been destroyed. Let's say ten of them, I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, ten of them is gonna be okay. And since they have again a huge shortage of equipment <coughs> because of the bombings. I'm gonna produce more anti-air, perhaps it's gonna be better. Let's see, more anti-air would be right here, and it's being produced actually a lot. But maybe I could use even more. Homer as well. Perhaps a little bit more radar as well. Right. But the destroyer went down. So let's see what's going on here. My troops are not taking any attrition yet here down, which is good. Let's see what the upgrades are doing. Reinforcements is still gonna need 29,000 men. A little bit more infantry equipment upgrades. More infantry equipment though. Our infantry equipment is going a bit better, I guess, and artillery as well. But unfortunately, don't have enough manpower. That is the problem. I could produce, of course, more divisions, but to what good? Because I already have a lot of divisions and I'm not doing anything with them. Let's see what this army is doing here. Guarding this territory. Actually, it's doing good. 
I'm not taking any attrition yet. Which is good. Um, yeah. Guarding the main ports or the main towns. It's okay, also having airplanes on my side, that's really okay. Now the Russians are should guard some territory as well they are guarding and the Japanese are also guarding their main mainland territory. Hopefully they will be able to invade the Americans here. Oh no chance at all. Look at this. Having so many troops there. It's gonna be very very difficult. The the main secret and the main point is who's gonna win the naval battle here in the Pacific. And I cannot support the Japanese in this battle because I'm gonna have to fight in the English Channel to support them there. Here the Japanese have made some advancement, which is perfect. They have conquered a little bit more uh, allied territory. It's really great, although they are still taking a lot of attrition though. But they are, they did a great job, all in all. <coughs> I really have to wait to increase a little bit the manpower, because otherwise it's not gonna work. Let's see, here I'm having very few naval bombers. I have a huge shortage of naval bombers, I'm not sure why. But I'm losing a lot of them. Oh, they have the naval the aircraft carriers here. My god, they have so many carriers here, there's nothing they can do actually. And I'm gonna lose a huge number of them. This is gonna work like this. Shit, I think I have a huge shortage of them. Yeah, that's right. Some because they have rather so many carriers. My quick spider is not yet ready to enter battle, although I have four car three carriers, which is good, but like I said, it's still yet too um, dangerous. There's a huge battle for the English Channel. Uh, I think I cannot mess with the English because look at them, they have like five, still almost 5,000 um, enemy fighters. Only fighters, only fighters. Um, I could try to deploy. Let's see. Yeah, here. Some strategic bombers, if I'm gonna have some. Let's see if I have. 16. No, I actually don't have any. Close your support. This is just nothing. Tactical interwar bomber, tactical bomber, and transfer plane. So no, I cannot create this. Your number is increased a little bit because I'm producing a lot per day. I think let's see how many. Carrier fighter two per month because I don't have enough resources. It's very problematic. Fighter, I'm gonna produce one per day. This is still not enough. Closer support seven per week. The mechanized and everything else. Now the problem is that the Allied troops are having a lot of uh, provision. That that's why I, they are not out of supplies, and I cannot attack them. Most probably they will attack me, and if this will happen, I'm gonna lose a lot of troops. Now manpower should increase at least a little bit. On the other hand, um, let's see. Maybe I will be able to. The 
Japanese here really make some advancement and they are trying to hold their ground in the sense that the, the Allied forces don't have too many divisions here to defend. Japanese could launch, I think, a new attack here. Perhaps they will. I want to see if, is, if I could um, make some diplomatic relations with my puppet state, such as this one here, which is puppet state of, yeah, whatever. So what, what I have here, start land lease, expeditionary request forces, boost, ask for control, give control of the state. How about some trade, join war? Request some force, they have 97 divisions. Request control over 60, 60, no, let's say one division, yeah, that's right, one. Two divisions, let's see if they will accept it. I mean, two divisions, not that much. They should accept it, they, they should accept it always, and that means that I will not have to, for example, um, maybe they already accept it. Oh yes, they did accept it. I mean, this, these guys are my uh, puppets, so they should really accept everything I'm gonna ask them. So let's um, send these divisions right here, and I'm gonna ask him for even more divisions from the Russians, because they do have a lot. Yeah, let's, gonna, let's ask them for four divisions in order to be able to fulfill all of these armies. I could also ask for Japanese, but no, I'm gonna ask the Russians because they have the most of divisions, so... Request forces... Another two... And hopefully they have accepted... Yes, they did... Some infantry tribe here... And... Another infantry type. And now, let's ask them for even some more divisions. As they, anyway, they have a lot. <coughs> Another infantry type. Let me send it right there. And a medium ta tank type. Oh, wait a minute, I just... I just asked them for too many divisions. Oh shit, now I have too many divisions here. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a problem. Or maybe not. But you know what? Let's send them right here to this man here. All of them on the western front. And when such a huge army like this one, 162 divisions will move, then they will take a lot of attrition, that's for sure. This guy is having 60 that march there. I could create a new army, however, if I'm gonna send more, if I'm gonna gain more Russian divisions. But this is gonna be enough now. Let's see where they are. Oh, they're right here. They want to guard, guard, guide, uh, guard this port of kill, but it's not really necessary. That's what my airplanes are doing here. They're doing a little bit better. I have to say, that's good. So, battle is taking place here with some poor American ships. It would be, however, good if I could deploy some more naval battle, naval bombers right here in this area of Atlantic, but I'm not able now because I have a shortage of them. And I also wanted to do something like, let's see. Army 6, this is Army 2, and this is Army 2, so let's do that. Alright, this guy is still there, and then there is this guy here, which is Army 6, I guess. Not... what? Oh yeah, whatever, it's something else here. This is Army 2 here, and this is Army 6. Oh, again, this fucking bullshit. Man, I cannot fucking believe that. Wait a minute, let's, let, me, let me destroy all these fucking plants, because I just fucking hate them. Come on, go ahead.
I mean, I don't really understand what the fuck is going on with this fucking idiot. So these guys are just here, that's good. Let's deploy them like this. Then this guy here, let's deploy them like this. Wait a minute, let's start. That's good. It's not good cool that they're moving now. The allies could profit and give an attack. Or we'll start an attack. More Russians, Russian divisions will arrive. If I'm gonna ask Russians for some more divisions, this is what's gonna happen. Request start return expeditions. Yeah. No, I don't need any divisions from them now, but I'm curious to see how many can I can I how, how many others they have, so eight eight, that's really great. And power increased a little bit, that's also good. <clears throat> this, this Spain, Spain is also boosting some of their ports, which is also very important. As well as Madrid. And the same thing are doing the Italians, I guess. They also have such a huge fleet here, that's what they have here. Six carriers, why are they using it? We should try to invade Great Britain and Greece right here. Things are quiet on this front here. This guy with his, with his enormous army is also moving. And uh, the Japanese are trying on offensive here, but they will have very little chances of doing something. This is completely nonsense what they're trying to do. But the Allies could re-attack here at any time. Counter-attack. Also trying an offensive here, but it's just madness. My troops belong to Manstein, which has so many skills. Cannot yet attack. The front is simply too too small. Well, just as I said, I should use my political power to stage coups all over the all over the, the continent if I'm gonna have some more infantry equipment and I'm gonna have a plus of infantry equipment very soon. That's what I'm gonna do in order to boost a little bit the forces they're gonna have. And I'm gonna use it, for example, to stage a coup in some of the countries that are not yet um, part of the Axis, such as... Let's see who is not yet part of the Axis. Finland it is. Yeah. So here's Portugal, for example. Which is right there. And has some territory in... Uh, Africa, or such as Iraq or Afghanistan, and Saudi Arabia as well, in order to conquer the whole Arabian Peninsula. The British Raj is still a huge power, as far as I can see. In the meantime, since the British are retreating from this mountain mountain territory here, and that the Axis forces, or maybe not, yes, the Axis forces will advance with its Turkish divisions. I'm not sure they're going to be able to um, come and defend it. Yeah, they are, they are already sending one infantry division. But I don't think they will be able to uh, arrive, arrive there in time. Japanese are still trying to make their way through here. And they are doing a great job if they will 
get through this river that would really be great. Here is the question whether I should give a major strike or not, but I'm gonna wait for the manpower to increase a little bit right now because I have a shortage of manpower, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. <clears throat> I still think huge attrition everywhere, including here. Attrition should be extremely high, let's see, it's 12%, not that high. Could, could have been worse. In the meantime, a lot of other civilian factors are being built, but also a lot of um, oil refinements or something. Yeah, and I should have a little bit more oil, I guess. Although I still have a huge... Whatever, let's try to import even more. Yeah, okay, whatever. Somehow, since they cannot import it from Ukraine as well, if they will accept it. Maybe they, they will not accept it. From Neo Ottoman Empire, let's buy as many as possible. Surplus of Chromium. I mean, they are sending and they are not sending and so on. This is what's gonna happen. Oil, I could buy more from. Afghanistan, from Venezuela, I could also buy, a, are you sure you want to have all goods for this until you not be able to construct, no, I don't want to, oh, I think I shouldn't do that, available for trade, I still have a huge Lack of surprise. Here. <clears throat> Ukraine is producing a lot then. This is oil and from Venezuela. No. No pass not possible. Convoys. Oh, okay. There are still a lot of civilian factories producing civilian factories as well, and they should be. One can be used for trades, 128 can be used for trade, then why aren't they used for trade then? Oh, it seems that the Japanese will soon break the defense here. Although this won't bring too much because the, the Allied troops are still having a lot of divisions up there. It has come to some kind of stalemate. Let's see what's going on in uh, the English Channel. One of my convoys had been destroyed. But I'm still having a lot of airplanes, however, not enough. But it's still okay. But then nothing. And finally, positive infantry equipment after so much time. That's really great. So heavy fighter and naval bomber still need a lot as well as a lot of fighters. Because of the Battle of English Channel, that's what's going on here. The American ship are wreaking havoc there. Transport waiting for orders. Okay, I think I could invade Greece here if I would have an... For example, a Russian army. I would be one that I could use, theoretically. Well, the Allied forces don't have too many divisions here, but um, the few they have don't take any attrition except this one here, maybe. Here is 11% attrition, here is 12%, here is 9%. Yeah, 
and here is the Jap Japan here avoiding the the, the, the battle. They were almost able to take this British rush down. In the meantime, the Japanese are also waging a war, as far as I know, right here in the Pacific, and they are trying to capture some American territory, including trying to capture the Philippines, but it seems it's simply too difficult to happen to do that. They have captured, however, a little bit more Dutch territory, which is also good. And here they have also invaded, right here, this Australian territory, if I'm not, yeah, with this Australian territory. Although, there will be, uh, the Australians will also send some forces there. So it's not gonna be easy, I mean. <coughs> we'll just see what's gonna happen. If you're gonna have to invade at this, this stage of the game, then you're gonna have to invade with a huge army, otherwise you have absolutely no chance at all. Manpower is also increased, which is good. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna be 3 million, and I'm gonna make major investments, and I'm gonna build new divisions, including tank divisions, and not only. But, like I said, first of all, I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna have 3 million men. Then I'm gonna make this investment. Russians are also building up some forces because they have even more, much more territory. And since the British forces are again taking some attrition, they are affected by attrition. Which means that my forces could attack them, perhaps. Doesn't seem that they are ready to do that yet. And they still need a lot of manpower here. They are perhaps affected by attrition. I think, um, let's see, no they are not, they are not, but this, for example, this troop here, mountain brigade belonging to Romanians, there are 6,000 men. Finally, 3,000 infantry equipment, it was about time. And let's already try to stage a coup, the question is where, and I'm gonna think, let's see what we have, a better chance. Yes, in Portugal maybe. And let's see where. No, since I'm not gonna be able to do it. It seems that this will be bullshit. There are no provinces where I could stage it. For example, the mainland, Portugal. <coughs> Sorry. There will be no chances except... Uh, that means that it's gonna be no way I should do that. I could however justify war goal, invade them and completely destroy them. That's what I could do. Bring up the forces here and conquer them. It's gonna happen also in, uh, in there. Now let's see for example in Iraq, for example, let's stage a coup in Iraq. Fascist would be good. Right. Let's see, I'm gonna need a lot of uh, infantry equipment, I'm not sure how much, but I'm sure this can happen. And I should, um... <clears throat> I should, um... Use some more... Political power. To recruit, for example, more generals and more emeralds. For example, let's, let's start with more emeralds. Although I know I'm not, I'm not gonna need them, but um, yeah, I'm already having a lot of them. But let's let's try to have more of them. There you go, 120. I'm gonna have a lot of emeralds here. Skill. It's okay. And let's also produce some more commanders. 
Although I'm already having a lot of them, but I want to produce even more of them. Let's see, what about the skill car student? He doesn't have an army anymore because his army has been knocked up. Oh, I should uh, gain some more army, for example, from the... Um, from the Russians. Let's, let's see, first of all, let's produce some more generals here. It's gonna be enough. 195, they are already very, very expensive. And let's see if I have any troops here except two paratroopers. Stage 2 against Iraq, maximum. Alright. Um, let's see some... No, I just want to see if I have enough. I have two paratroopers that aren't doing anything, I'm just gonna leave them there. Actually, wait a minute, no. I'm gonna assign a general here. So there would be, let's assign this one, Dietrich, Zepp Dietrich. Superior enemy, yeah that's right. Division still preparing. Battle plan value. Minus 30% is advantage, large ship crossing, alright. No problem, although since these troops are taking huge attrition here. That means maybe I could actually try it. There is a large river crossing. Oh, wait a minute, actually, I know why they're not doing anything, because I don't have any f offensive line here. So, I should have one. There you go. They could attack at any time, but I'm not gonna do it, not yet. And then there are these guys here that I should try to also stage an offensive line. And they're like... There, that's right. If it will work, they are gonna be great. If not, not. I'm gonna just leave them like that, the way they are. Any other divisions are arriving? I think this is such a good idea, actually. Yeah, because now a lot of my troops will take attrition. Like I said, it's not a good idea. But what can you do? This is what the industry is doing now. I have still, I still have 175 factories and a lot of naval dockyards that are actually building a lot of fleets, but with a very low speed. Having 10 submarines, I can need far more submarines, of course. Uh, the enemy have brought up a lot of men, but they are also taking a lot of attrition. This is what the Japanese are doing. Yeah, they are maintaining the front here along this large river, which is very good. <coughs> also in the northern here. And actually China could also have the chance of building its own army. Let's see, maybe I could ask for some... No, I cannot ask for some military. Only send expeditionary force, maybe uh, Japan. Ask a troll of state. No. Let's see what my my puppet states are actually. Because I don't know which are the other many. So, Poland is one. Then the Baltic states. Sinkyan, alright. No, I'm just gonna leave them. In Russia, yeah, I'm just gonna leave them where they are. So, it needs to be repaired, I think. The troops that are stationed here are taking an incredible attrition. I'm thinking of retreating them, although it's gonna be a little bit too risky if I'm gonna do so. Too bad. So if you could open 4,000, that's also good. Yeah, perhaps even more. I could stage a coup in another country in the meantime, and let's don't waste time and do it. Let's go, for example, for Afghanistan. Well, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but I don't care. Let's stage a coup. Fascists, and maybe I kinda convince them to enter. 
and as well as here no first of all these two countries and then i can deal with, uh, with others <clears throat> can also send them some divisions that's for sure now it's better much better Everything has come to a halt here. And the Japanese are expanding in Australia. They're not encountering any resistance. That's good. This was going on in the English Channel at the meantime. Oh yes, I'm losing even more and more troops, especially naval bombers. War Strike Fisher 74 and Naval Strike Fisher is the 27%, interception 1%, air superiority 63. I still need a lot of power, however, more power. So, what could I do would be, for example, to build even more, let's see, more fighters, more naval bombers, let's build a bit more. And more heavy fighters, yeah, a bit more heavy fighters. I'm gonna have enough resources, of course, but in the meantime, I don't have enough resources. I'm building, however, a lot of oil refineries and so on. Wait a minute, let's see. And I should have a little bit more oil and rubber. In any case, this bomb, these factories are bombarded drastically by enemy bombers. So I don't have too many of them. British battleships. Then for level 10, goes to for level 5, it's gonna be impossible to invade it. Although I could invade other things, such as for example, Belfast or something. This might be possible. Having a lot of light tank and everything. A strategic bomber plane. There's a huge range of naval bomber and fighters, and I have a lot of carrier fighter, CV naval bomber, and tactical bomber. still very difficult so I having a little bit men more more manpower I'm gonna wait and go up to three million and I'm gonna make major investments let's increase the speed a little bit and maybe could try to launch another invasion or offensive here um, this will however will mean a massive shortage of men if I'm gonna launch an offensive here, although I could launch it because I have supplies and they don't have supplies. They have a lot of organization though, almost all everywhere, but they are still doing good here by defending. They're moving towards promising where they will have more supplies and 
that's for sure. The Japanese are also having a problem with supplies and the um, Allied forces are also having a problem here with supplies. So it's not easy at all. We are the Japanese now, having some, encountering some Australian troops here, maybe they will lose this territory. Very difficult to do something. They should, however, leave someone in this port, otherwise they will be completely surrounded. But I have to say the computer in this game, Hearts of Iron, is still having a lot of problems and is still doing some very, very stupid actions and not acting according to a little bit of logic here, like keeping up, first of all, securing ports and then continuing invading the island or something like that. So just some basics. Let's see which are other countries that are not taking part of the war. Xinjiang, Tibet, yeah, I could also stage war against Tibet. This will modify the fronts here. But I think it's gonna be okay because my troops, the Axis troops are anyway stationed here and they could at any time attack Tibet. To mention that Tibetans are also taking a lot of attrition in this desert here. Maybe. Maybe not, I'm not sure about that. In the Himalayas. Okay. Not much they can do. And the Allied forces are taking even more and more attrition here, which means that yes, I could already start the offensive here. Let's go. Oh, it doesn't seem that it's gonna be that good. Although I'm gonna lose manpower, but I don't care. Let's try the offensive. We're gonna advance a little bit even more. This is also gonna be a great thing. And the other guys... No, I see that it wasn't such a good idea. Superior enemy, 50%. Now they are attacking me here. But it doesn't seem they have enough supplies. Oh, actually, wait a minute, I have conquered this territory. That is perfect. They are still attacking. No, not anymore. Um. Let's take with everything I got here. And here as well. Perfect. Oh my god, I have air superiority. Yeah, it has been captured. Now they will attack with a lot of their troops, but hopefully they will have no chance at all. No, it doesn't seem that they will have a chance actually. That was a really great offensive. Really, really nice offensive. Now hopefully I'm gonna be able to advance even further. I'm gonna wait a little bit. They're also trying to advance. Yeah, it was a nice offensive. Unfortunately, I've already lost like 20,000 men or something in this offensive. Stop the offensive right now. Let's gain some supplies and then let's launch a new attack. Also wait for the allies to gain even more attrition. <coughs> I could attack for example. Not no, maybe this is not a good idea. I have no troops at all. 
here they have a lot of don't have any attrition here they do have some yeah just I thought just a little bit of um, offensive and I have already lost 50,000 men unbelievable I've given another another um, province however in April 1955 So where the problem here is factory what level health zero please sir what this is such a big bullshit I'm not sure what am I gonna do it in order to increase the of Luxembourg. <coughs> sabotage. Military factory sabotage. Then that means that yeah, I have this shortage, huge shortage of supplies. This threat where the military police at many other um just the infantry division maybe. No wait a minute actually I should edit right here. One and another one right here, but no there is no place enough to SS division, also no good idea. This guy's here. And to the Marines, no, there's no place. This garrison, yeah, there is already a military police. Here, also a military police. Right. This garrison, they could also use some artillery, for example. Paratroopers, that's enough. Why well, this is gonna cost me even more manpower and a lot of infantry equipment, tower artillery, motorized and support equipment, but I think a few military police all over the place. I could also deploy some, let's see, what division, garrison division, it's gonna cost me 3000 manpower. And yeah, they're gonna be also very cool. I could deploy a lot of, let's train some of them. One, but I'm gonna add a lot of units. Gonna be like nine, and this is going to be like a new general that is gonna have them. Let's say like 24 and it's gonna guard this area here all over this occupied territory in order to reduce a little bit the occupation problem. It's gonna mean of course huge manpower low but I'm gonna add like 24 of them. That's right. 24 divisions is gonna be 
gonna be a short, huge shortage of manpower and everything in the tree equipment and artillery simply because this garrison division is gonna have some infantry at all of 3000 artillery, support equipment, training time, whatever. We we'll also add them some other divisions, but no, it's not the, the, the time or the case. And I'm just gonna use them right here when we let's add also a place, a location. Yeah, that would be right here in Hessen. And I'm gonna have 24. I This will be actually a new army. And this will guard this uh, territory that is being so sabotaged in Luxembourg and around the area. Let's see, around this area here. <coughs> the whole area. Military factories being completely sabotaged and I think this is because resistance strength is 1% I'm not sure why occupation policy multiplier Luxembourg there are no divisions in the state as the problem gentle resistance growth local resources this effects local supplies intel to enemies chance to sabotage constructions 40 82% Division attrition 27%. Click to manage the occupation. No, I ju I'm just gonna put up some some troops here so that that would be decreased. Some garrisons around these areas here. And there as well is occupied territory. It's gonna help, I hope. Oh my god, this is I'm losing a lot of troops now lately here. Let's see. No, 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 actually I'm doing very fine, actually perhaps the enemy is losing a lot of troops here. Maybe. Still a bit problematic with the manpower. So let's see, in the meantime the allies don't seem to have enough troops here and I could possibly attack them. So, although they are moving their armies, they are noticing that. Uh, I could still not attack them all over the front because they are still have <coughs> the supremacy and maybe that they will counterattack me and this is gonna be a disaster so I will better stay still to say the least. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to split the video here, I'm gonna end it, so um, I'm gonna see you next time, bye bye.